Hi guys, welcome back. I just wanted to jump on here and let you guys know that hopefully I will be um, doing a video for you all tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, but it would be um, Tuesday afternoon before it posts. Um, as you can see, I'm in my night clothes because I have been under the weather and I just haven't felt like doing anything at all. Um, so I mainly, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have not forgot about you, that I do plan on doing a video, but it will be tomorrow. Um, I do want to show you a couple of things that I've been working on, you know, being in the bed. Hi guys, meet Goliath. <laughs> this is the cat you guys hear in the videos that sound like he is trying to bust out of the, um, the bedroom. Um, so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have not forgot about y'all. I am going to do a video, um, but I, real quick before I sign off of here right now, I am going to show you a couple of the things that I've been working on. Um, you know, there's not a lot I can do from sitting in the bed and I just have not felt like getting up, um, to do much else. So I am going to flip the camera around and show you what I've been working on and some of the things we're going to work on this week. So hang on. Okay. I'm going to see how this works with me holding the phone. Um, so as you all know, I went down to, um, Okeechobee this weekend and along the way, I stopped at the um, plaza, the travel plazas along the turnpike. And I picked up a couple of these um, like travel books and some of the little brochures for the different places. Um, because I wanted to challenge myself and see what I could do with them. And so this is just a few things that I've made while sitting in here um, in the bedroom. So like this is a journal card and I actually made this with some of, it's made, everything is completely out of these brochures and stuff. Um, so there's a cute little journal card. I made this cute little pocket. Um, that here's an envelope. Um, here's another envelope. This one's really cute with that flower on it. Um, here's another one. It's just, you know, a page out of that. I made a larger one. This one's, and I love the heart. And then this is a library top pocket. And then these are some of the images that I cut off of one of the, um, one of the journal cards. And look how cute these are. Um, so I've done those and then let me see what else do I have. Here's just another little envelope and see how it says carnation on it. And I'll show you what I got that out of. And then look at this. This is made out of one of the magazine pages. Beautiful. And then my husband gave, handed me an envelope. That he had got a watch or something in. He was like, can you do anything with that? And I'm like, oh yeah. So I was just messing around. I could, Like I said, I couldn't get up out of the bed. I just didn't feel like it. And so i done this, you know, super like crazy little journal thing. But hang on. <laughs> I just scared my cat, guys. <laughs> okay. So then I picked this up while I was down there in Okeechobee. This was a book that they had at um, Eli's Western Wear. And so you guys know that I had all of those paper strips that I didn't know what to do with. So look what I have been doing. And this is going to be perfect for tags and journal cards. So I have taken the little strips and I have done several pages while I've been just sitting here in the bed not doing anything so these are going to make some really cute journal cards and tags and you know my OCD kind of got in the way a little bit and I had to do color coordinated but how cute is this 
I want to show you the back part of this book in just a minute. So as you can see, I kind of tried to keep everything color coordinated. I just figured it'd make it a little easier on me. I love this page. I mean, I love them all, but you know. So, uh, those are trying to stick. But yeah, so this is literally what I've been doing. So now we're, you know, this is where I'll be working some more. But let me show you some of the pages in this book. It is beautiful. So hang on. And this is just, look at this. This will make a great, like, card tag. The images on this are just amazing. And look at this. So vintage. I am definitely going to have fun using that page. And then we get to this. Look at this page. How pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And so... I sold the page that was here to make that one pocket, but look at the flowers right here. And I actually have another one of these books. And look at these little drawings here. I mean, these are going to make some really adorable tags. So that's what's in this book here. So this week, hopefully I will get to feeling better um, shortly. Look at that, those deers. Those would be wonderful. And I will tell you that all throughout this book, there were some, and I covered, you know, several of the images up because um, I do have another book. But look at this. Um, these images will just be beautiful to use for... Um, tags and stuff besides you know even look at that dog it's gorgeous um, besides what I'm going to be doing you know with this book is going to be the tags and journal cards because I've done the collage but um, the other book I plan on using a lot of these images like this to do some different tags and stuff with um, so that's the goal um, Hopefully, I will feel better by tomorrow and can do a video. Um, but I did want to just get on here and just kind of show you guys, um, you know, what I've been working on. and let you guys know that I have not forgot about you, I promise. But I just haven't felt good. And um, stay tuned. I will be posting videos that, um because I do want to show you that, you know, all of that junk mail and stuff like that, there's so much you can do with it. Look at this beautiful dog. Um, so, yeah, we'll be using a lot of the junk mail, the brochures, stuff that I got for free, like at the Travel Plaza, um, to make some ephemera this week. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here, but I will see you all tomorrow afternoon. Bye, guys.